Hi, I'm Ira Pfeffer, Davis Instruments Technical Support. And I'm Brett Lang, Davis Instruments Technical Support. And today we're going to demonstrate how to remove and replace a temperature humidity module on a Vantage Pro ISS. And the uh, first thing that you uh, want to consider is uh, safety and uh, working in a safe environment and a flat area. Uh, what we're going to be redoing is uh, removing the temperature humidity sensor as located in the radiation shield. We will walk you through a step-by-step -step process uh, from start to finish. And step one uh, would be to take it down. Uh, and bring it into a workbench so that you can safely uh, remove the sensor. Uh, the first step, uh, once you've done that, is uh, to remove your rain cone, which is a slight turn counterclockwise, and rain cone just pops right off, um, followed by removing the sensor from the transmitter board and your solar panel flips off uh, from the handle on the bottom, slides up, and it is hardwired to the transmitter board. So you do want to uh, remove the wire, put your solar panel down. You will be using it later. The temperature humidity sensor is plugged in to the temperature humidity receptacle on the transmitter board. And you would want to make sure while I get my glasses to find the proper receptacle that's labeled temp hum on your transmitter board. Followed by removing the protectant foam that is put in place to protect the uh, transmitter board from possible water leakage. And again, put that down to the side. Slide out your temperature humidity uh, cable from the transmitter board and it comes slides out. Next on the top of your rain cone you will have either three quarter inch bolts or you will have three Phillips head screws. That connects the rain collector to the radiation shield. On this particular unit we have three quarter inch bolts. You, basically you're just going to uh, unscrew, unscrew these and the radiation shield will come apart. I'm just going to loosen them right now. And third one is here by the rain cone itself of the tipping buckets. Take apart the layers of the plate of the radiation shield. Very important to take them apart in the order that you take them off so that you can then um, put them back and assemble them in the same direction. The temperature humidity sensor itself has three screws that attach to the radiation shield. And uh, with a Phillips head screwdriver you can uh, remove these. One screw has a washer and it goes to the actual cable tie wrap itself. The other two screws are just a uh, regular screw into the actual sensor module itself. You want to take the old sensor and put that one aside as that is the one that is going to be returned back to us within 30 days.